From Classroom to Career, Unraveling the Paths to Professions. Hello, learners. Welcome to another exciting episode in our series. Today, we'll be discussing a very important aspect of describing occupations, the education and training required for an occupation. By the end of this video, you'll be able to describe various jobs and the educational paths leading to them, giving you a new layer of understanding when talking about occupations in English. Understanding the education and training required for an occupation is essential. Not only does it give us an insight into the complexity and depth of different jobs, but it also helps us appreciate the skills and knowledge a person might possess based on their job. Whether it's a four-year university degree, a vocational training course, or an apprenticeship, every job has a unique journey of learning and preparation that we'll explore today. When talking about occupations, one of the first things that comes to mind is academic education. This refers to the formal learning process that takes place in schools, colleges, and universities. In this context, we often talk about degrees. For instance, a lawyer needs to complete a bachelor's degree followed by a law degree. An architect, on the other hand, might need a master's degree in architecture. However, not all jobs require an academic degree. Some jobs demand vocational training or certification. For example, an electrician might complete an apprenticeship or a trade school program. A personal trainer would need to obtain a certification in personal training. So, when you describe these occupations, it's essential to mention these different forms of education and training. In the modern workplace, learning doesn't stop after graduation or certification. Many occupations require ongoing professional development to stay current with the latest technologies, methods, or practices. For example, a software engineer might take continuing education courses in new programming languages or a teacher may attend professional development seminars to learn new teaching strategies. And that's a wrap on today's topic. Everyone, we've seen how education and training form an integral part of the journey to different occupations. Hopefully, this helps you better understand and describe jobs in your English conversations. Remember, each profession has its unique path and learning requirements. Keep practicing, keep exploring, and I'll see you in our next video. Happy learning!